All right, welcome back everybody. Today I've got a video on my Smith & Wesson M&P Target. This gun I picked up a couple years ago at a local gun shop. Used, obviously. It is a Smith & Wesson military and police Target model. Made in the mid-30s, I think is what I dated it to. It is a pre-war, long action. 38 special has the old school pre war adjustable rear side on it with the partridge front. This one here has uh, definitely seen some use. It has a lot of holster wear on both sides of the barrel and around the grip. It has some bluing wear. But it is in pretty good condition given its age, and you still have a significant amount of the original pre war bluing, which Smith and Wesson, Colt, all the top tier companies of those years, their bluing is just magnificent. Pre war bluing, Colt, Smith and Wesson, awesome. Uh, this uh, rear side is adjustable through small screws on the left and right for the blade and then for elevation right in front. A lot like the later post-war models with the short action, just the screw heads are, it's a lot smaller profile, but it is a uh, pretty easy to pick up on the sights. It's a good shooting gun. I shoot a uh, standard pressure 38 special loads through it, mostly uh, 158 grain round nose and semi wad cutters and then quite a few full wad cutters either hand cast i think it's the 163 lineman mold if i'm not mistaken and the spear hollow base wad cutter they all shoot good um this gun it's got a i believe it's a six or six and a half inch barrel on it uh it's pretty tight i mean for what it is it's got a nice smooth action. I love the long action of the transitional and pre-war Smiths. Love the hammer shape. Uh, trigger breaks really crisp. It's a nice, uh, nice gun to be walking through the woods with. Um, and I imagine that's a lot of what the, they were bought for back in the day. This one here, like I said, spent a lot of time in a holster. And a lot of presentations out of that holster, obviously the significant wear on the barrel it does have the original grips with the uh, silver I believe it would be the silver medallion could have been gold I'm pretty sure it was originally silver but anyway it's got the medallion in them which I believe depending on what you ordered or what you could get they had these grips with the medallions without medallions I don't know what the magnas were they had magnas available for the K-frame might have been an end frame only, but and like I said, this is a K-frame revolver. And it's just basically a target version of the Smith & Wesson M&P model, which our millions were made. The target model, I'm not going to say they're rare, but they are a lot more fewer and far between. Uh, so when I ran across it, I knew I probably needed to snag it up. Uh, most of the ones I find online are running anywhere from 700 up over a thousand, depending on condition. Uh, most of them are around a thousand dollar range. But every once in a while, you catch one like this that's seen some use, that's still mechanically sound. I think I, I picked this one up for about 550, I think, uh, and I was I was glad to get it at that price. Um, it's a nice old revolver. Like I said, pre-war. Everything uh, pre-war is uh, superbly fit and finished. The action's real nice. Highly recommend if you run across an old pre-war pistol like this and it's something that uh, you think you might be interested in, don't pass it up because they don't come along very often. Uh, anyway, thank you all and have a good day.